Hey, good morning. I hope everybody's having a fabulous day. Today, I'm going to take you on a little adventure down to Parksville Beach to check out the sandcastles because it's Parksville Beach Festival. The festival actually started in July and it runs for five and a half weeks into August. And actually, this is the last weekend for the sandcastles, so it's time to go check them out. And they also have a light up going on tonight, so hopefully, I'll make it there tonight to check that out too. So I hope you enjoy coming along on this little walk today down to Parksville Beach. Go check it out. I bet you it's super busy down there. It didn't used to be that busy but now it's like little Hawaii. There's so many people down there but that's okay. Everybody loves Parksville Beach so come check it out if you like and if you're not into crowds just watch the video and I'll show you around the sandcastles. <laughs> Parksville Beach. It's so busy here now. It never used to be so busy, but over the past few years, people have discovered Parksville. Nobody wants to come here. Beautiful beach. Tons of people. And they finally replaced the old Island Hall buildings, the annex. It used to be quite an eyesore, and now they've turned it to an RV park. Any chip? Any chip. Oh, they're so colorful. I'll go with the, the green. Thank you. <laughs> you too. You guys volunteer here? Uh, no, we work here. Actually. Oh, you work here. You actually get paid. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, can you tell me how they stick together for so long? Because how long have they been standing now? Um, they've been standing for five weeks now. So tomorrow's our last day. Five weeks. Holy. They look great. Yeah. They <laughs> do. How do they stay together? Well, in the beginning, the sculptors, they compact it really densely. So they have like a lot of water and they like really compact the sand and then this is actually like it's really strong now so it almost becomes concrete and then a few days later we kind of spray it with some glue and water mix and that kind of seals the outside and keeps it in this pristine condition. Cool. So glue and water, that's the key? Glue and water. Glue and water. Outside, but otherwise, yes, it's just water and sand. That's awesome. <laughs> well, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
is pretty exciting here. This is the old amphitheater in the park, or not even an amphitheater, just where they used to have the music. And this is super exciting. This is the first time I've been here. I haven't actually seen a concert here yet, but maybe, maybe tonight actually. But this is what it looks like. So exciting. Woo. I played many a ball game on these fields and watched my kids play soccer on these fields. Yeah, I've been here a long, long time. Tennis and pickleball courts. Looks like they're setting up the net for pickleball. I really have an aversion to pickleball because I actually tore my rotator cuff playing pickleball with my grandson, like just for fun. I don't even play pickleball. So it's been like since January and I have this injury in my shoulder. So I cringe when they see pickleball. <laughs> just kidding. Mini donuts. I don't know what is it, it is about mini donuts. I get excited, but I never actually eat them. <laughs> it's so weird. Skateboard park over there. And then on Tuesdays, this outdoor volleyball court here is just hopping. Tons of people playing volleyball. I was never very good at volleyball. I always hurt my wrists. <laughs> I always appreciate people who can play volleyball. Thanks so much for coming along with me on my little adventure on Parksville Beach today and going to the sandcastles and looking at the new um, amphitheater there. It's so cool. Got myself a little treat here. I have a bit of a confession to make. Um, today's the first day I've been out and about in over two weeks because I had COVID. It wasn't fun, so be careful out there. It's still circulating a lot and it kind of hit me pretty hard. The fatigue was pretty bad. So yeah, I'm just really glad to be in the land of the living again so stay safe everybody and I hope to uh, come back tonight and film the sandcastles when they're all lit up and maybe some fireworks we'll see it's kind of a big day for me I when you haven't been out for two weeks and all of a sudden you're out day and night but we'll see how it goes so this could be continued cheers <laughs>